Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Huskers football is gearing up for signing day this Wednesday, but members of the roster are receiving recognition for their performance in the 2021 season. JoJo Doman was named AP Second Team All-American as a nickel defender. Doman's tenacity paced the Huskers' defense with 72 tackles and nine tackles for a loss this year. He also added two interceptions. Doman was also named Team Defensive MVP and the Tom Novak Award recipient given to uh, a player on the Huskers who best exemplifies courage and determination despite all odds in the manner of a Nebraska All-American uh, All center, Tom Novak. On the flip side of the ball, tight end Austin Allen was named the Huskers offensive MVP and just bestowed the Guy Chamberlain Trophy, which is presented to the senior player who has shown by his play and contributions to the betterment of Nebraska football team that he has the qualities and dedication of the Chamberlain to the uh, Cornhusker tradition. Defensive, ben, defensive lineman Ben Stilley was awarded the Cletus Fisher Native Son Award. Wide receiver Levi Falk won the Cornhusker, which is awarded to a player that started their Nebraska career as a walk-on and made the largest contribution to the team in their last season of eligibility. Safety Deontay Williams and won the Pat Clare Award, which is given to the player who has best exemplified the commitment and courage to overcome injury, while at the same time serving as an inspiration to his teammates in his return to the field. And lastly, Boyd Epley Lifter of the Year Award was a split decision this year for Nebraska as it was awarded to both Travis Vokalek and Cam Jurgens. Also, a special shout-out to Lishana Ives, named Estonian Women's Athlete of the Year. She's a member of the Huskers track and field team, wrapping up awards this past weekend for Nebraska. In pro sports tonight, Monday Night Football is set for 7.15 p.m., and it figures to be a good one when the Rams visit the Cardinals in a battle for bragging rights in the NFC West. And one programming note, in second hour tonight, we'll have men's basketball assistant coach Armand Gates on to join Sports Nightly. That'll begin at 7.04 p.m. That's the ticker, and I'm Tim Mulhelm. This is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here's Burge driving the ball down the left side, changes hands and lays it in. Alonzo Burge licking his foot to the rim. Barkowski has to chuck up a three. You betcha. Is that Jazz Shelley or is that Alexis Markowski? She's hit her first two threes as a Husker. Alex Rodriguez floats it over, pass by Eagleson, tight to the net, gets it back, swings, block back, Nebraska's got three blocks, Lucy Krause, the night of her life so far. Drives the ball, health defense is there, great block, but it's retrieved by Dickinson, the putback, no good, rebound by Verge. What a great play it was by Eduardo Andre at the rim. Shelly leading a three on two, no look over the head, pass to Jaime, are you kidding me, are you kidding me, Jazz yeah, Shelly threw it over her head, no look, pass to Jaime for the layup. Played by Kubik. Sad left, Peyton Horse, big rip off the block and down. Only Peyton Horse, her finest hour as a Husker. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Served by Melanie Para. This time it's in. Pass made. Jack back, right side, Crosey for the match. She did it. They did it. Can you believe it? Call the grandkids. Nebraska beats Texas. Nebraska takes down Texas. Your Oscars back where they belong. The final four. Go celebrate, Nebraska. Go celebrate. Wow, what a night Saturday night was for Big Red Volleyball as they beat up on the Texas Longhorns in Texas' own gymnasium to get to the Final Four for the fifth time in the last seven years. What a run by this team. Welcome to another week of Sports Alley. Glad you're here with us tonight. We do have men's basketball show coming up in hour number two, but we're going to talk some volleyball here in the opening segment. And Jessica, it was just an amazing performance and so proud of those freshmen, Ali Batenhorst and Lindsey Krause. John Cook's kind of hung with those two all year long, even though they've had those up and down moments. They were terrific Saturday night in beating Texas. You could kind of feel that Allie Batenhorst was due to have a big night. I mean, she had kind of had, you know, was on the up and up, had a couple of pretty big matches in the uh, two previous wins in the postseason, was at the end of the year kind of getting that confidence. I think that was probably the biggest key. She just needed that confidence. And then the more it grew, and boy, she went off. And it had to be special for her, you know, from Texas. She probably had a ton of friends and family that that was down there and um, you know in that hostile gym and 
for Lindsey Crosby, I know they're all really close. We've seen it from those freshmen from the start, you know, how tight they are. And so for them to kind of also get to do it together, and it, they were just going back and forth, big play after big play. And it was Lindsey Crosby's birthday, and she was, I know, saw she was ESPN's player of the match. But you could argue just as much that, you know, Ali Batenhorst deserved that too. And I know, so they had to be really proud and, and um, it had to be really cool for them to get to share that moment together. What I mean, there's been so much history between the two programs. Texas ended Nebraska season just last April when the, the condensed season and the, the tournament was held in a convention hall up in Omaha and Texas bumped Nebraska out in that very round, the regional final round, for Nebraska to turn the tables and to beat him on their home gym, I think, is just an amazing thing. And, and really, it wasn't a huge night for Matty Kubik. It wasn't a big night for Lawrence Stiverns. They were, they were fine, but they weren't just out of their mind playing great. But as a whole, Nebraska, they whipped them. They, that was a well-deserved victory. Absolutely. And then, oh, Lexi Rodriguez. I mean, again, oh, doing amazing. Lexi Rodriguez things. I mean, you almost kind of... Um, expected, but you know it's just unbelievable. They they really did. They all put it together. And we said that we said last week, hey, you know it's time to start playing your your best volleyball, and hopefully it can be done this weekend. And I, I think that was. I mean, again, I, I probably still even more room to for them to get better, which is also pretty scary. But you know, I think we we saw on display just how dangerous this team can be when they're firing on all, on all cylinders and all the different weapons that they have. That you just can't key in on on Maddie Kubik, and you just can't key in on Lawrence Difference. She honestly, she had a pretty quiet night. And so you, yeah. you look to those two freshmen that really stepped up and delivered when they need, needed them to. The ankle of Lauren will be a topic all week because it kind of came out during the weekend that she rolled an ankle in the previous week. And so she didn't, I don't think Nicklin said it to her a whole lot in the match. So it had to be Allie and Lindsay to come up and they did. They stepped up when their teammate maybe wasn't at 100% to get it done. But, you know, John Cook told the team before the match, Jessica said, they haven't seen a team like us that plays defense yep. and digs as well as we do. And they're going to be surprised at a lot of points that they put away against other teams. They're not going to do it against us. Well, and it's got to just be so deflating when you are used to some of those kills, some of the, you know, super athletic team. And, and you're used to just kind of out athleticing people. Um, and for them to, you know, some of those kills that normally hit the ground for, for the, some of those digs, I mean, it's just deflating, and it just swings momentum so much in the other direction. And you could tell they were frustrated, um, you know, that he pulled, Texas pulled the setter. I mean, they were trying anything and everything and just could not figure out a way to get over the hump. And, yeah, what a huge win. And, you know, it's funny because, again, I still have several people from Oklahoma that follow me on Twitter, and I put horns down. Nothing brings together people like beating <laughs> Texas, you know. And so – to advance to the final four and then to do it over Texas as well. I mean, does it get any better? Fantastic. John in Omaha on our text line said, so proud of the entire team. And Lexi Rodriguez's performance was nothing short of amazing. Go Big Red. So off to the final four. And again, five of the last seven years, that's where this program has gotten. It's going to be their 16th appearance in a final four. Just amazing. And now they play Pittsburgh, a kind of an unknown team, a team that's been on the rise the last couple of years, but they've never been to a Final Four. And I think that might benefit Nebraska, where they have some players who have a little bit of background and the lights that will get a little brighter this week. Yeah, you got to think that that's definitely going to bode well for the Huskers, that they do have experience in that. And, you know, and, and you know, going back to those freshmen, that's how I'm, I was so impressed because I almost asked Lauren or um, Kelly about that last week, about how do you – you know, get freshmen prepared for this stage for the first time. And, and they, the stage was definitely not too big for them. But I also think, again, that goes back to the leaders on that team that we've heard so much about from Coach Cook throughout this entire season about how well they welcome and welcomed in the freshmen and have made them feel such a part and, and made them know how big of a role that they are going to play and need to play for this team to win a national title. And so you have to think that the, that experience, even though these freshmen – you know, three of the arguably the most impactful players that, you know, helped this team get to the Final Four have never been there before. And so right. you have to give credit to those older players for, for making sure that they were ready and they were prepared for that stage. Well, it was so much fun. I know Husker Nation was just loving watching that match pretty late into the night or listening to J.B. and Lauren call here on the uh, Huskers radio network. And now it's an 8.30 start for the uh, semifinal on Thursday night. There'll be the second match. It's the Big Ten against the ACC in this Final Four because you have two Big Tens, Nebraska, Wisconsin. You have Louisville, Pittsburgh out of the ACC. So Conference Pride will be on the line for these two matches. 
That first one's going to be fun. Louisville, Wisconsin, that'll be a heck of a match. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. And honestly, I know that there was some disappointment about the draw and the way that it kind of uh, shook out. But now it's almost you, <laughs> you might have gotten a better road right. to the championship game. You know, I mean, having to getting to avoid both Wisconsin and Louisville in that first matchup. So, uh, you know, good draw. Not taking anything away from Pitt. They're obviously a good right. team. But I'm just saying Wisconsin, we've seen them and have had our issues with Wisconsin and Louisville has just been outstanding all year so you get those two can can duke it out and and um, so you got to think the matchup favors Nebraska going this route and playing Pitt as opposed to those other two teams the Huskers or Pitt did beat two Big Ten opponents to get here they beat Penn State in the first weekend in four and they beat Purdue in the region final in four so those are two teams that Nebraska played so it's I think that'll help in the film study because you now you know how you game plan for Penn State you know how you game plan against Purdue now you can see what Pitt did and what what hurt Pitt so I think that'll help Tyler and Jalen and Coach Cook uh, put together the plan and, and get ready for Thursday night. Yeah, and again, a staff that's, you know, have been very successful at putting together game plans to, Absolutely. you know, advance in the postseason. So also got to, you know, be advantage Huskers that they have have a team that's been in this and, and know what know what it takes to win at this stage. So uh, getting a couple questions on the chat about um, Lexi Sun again, and, I, you know, I think that's kind of been documented throughout the season, just having other players that – have solidified their spots, but I did think. Did you see the tweet that mm -hmm. came out about Lexi when she? Uh, it wasn't. A, it wasn't the freshman, but someone quote tweeted and, and grabbed a piece of the video of Lexi was very very emotional and crying and said, and it was Maddie Kubik that she was hugging and said, "I'm so proud of you." Um, so still being a, a you know a fantastic teammate and Coach Cook actually tweeted about it. You know this team is we over me, and so she's still been and still is a huge part of this team and. In practices, she's just not necessarily the person that they're going to in games. And I think with the way Allie Batenhorst played the other night, you can see she's kind of elevated her play and deserves to get the, the, the time on the court. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Tim had it in the ticker. We're countdown to the signing day coming up on Wednesday. We'll have coverage on Huskers.com in the morning from 8 to 10 a.m. Jeremiah will join us for that. Then we'll have complete coverage on Sports Nightly that night as well. Uh, some decisions still to be made. Nebraska, I think, is still waiting for some commitments for some young men. And so that's going to play itself out here in the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. We'll be all over that as we make our way through uh, the next couple of days. Mickey Joseph, the former Husker, now a member of this coaching staff, the associate head coach, the wide receivers coach, the passing game coordinator. He's going to join us here in just a couple of minutes. Can't wait to sit down with Mickey, the former Husker quarterback, and talk about him coming back home, back to his his alma mater to be a part of this coaching staff. Looking forward to that chat here in just a couple of minutes. Phone numbers 402 413 2400. That's our Sports Honey Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Back with Mickey Joseph, the new wide receivers coach for the Big Red. That's coming up next. Experience the difference and shop Woodhouse Nissan first. We have the car, truck, or SUV that meets all of your needs. Discover the all-new 2022 Nissan lineup during the Nissan year-end sales event. The Frontier, Pathfinder, and Armada are equipped with features that will exceed your expectations. Shop with confidence for our two convenient Woodhouse Nissan locations in Bellevue or West Omaha. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in person or online anytime. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. 
visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Successful farmers must make good decisions every day. In pivot irrigation, the choice is simple. TNL exclusive hydraulically powered pivot irrigation systems are like no other. You get tough, reliable, and cost effective irrigation. Let TNL's 60 years of irrigation experience work for you. Call your local TNL dealer or TNL irrigation company today. TNL, like no other. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Go! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Hey, Nebraska fans, Jimmy Johns in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. <sighs> Sometimes being an office printer feels like I'm competing in an Olympic sport. Thankfully, I have Marco's managed print services on my team. Marco's game plan helps me make big plays while saving big bucks. And Marco's lightning fast tech support gets me back in the game fast. <sighs> I'm up. Find out what your printers could be saying with Marco's Managed Print Services at marconet.com. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com Huskers. Member FDIC. 
Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. And delighted to be joined tonight by one of the new coaches on the Husker coaching staff. And boy, folks, you remember him, Mickey Joseph, former quarterback for the Big Red. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. Oh, no, I'm glad, glad to be back. You know, it's just um, it's a weird feeling coming back in. You know, you feel, a, you know, the butterflies, you know, just, you know, seeing the stadium and seeing the city. And seeing how the city has grown, and um, you're really like, okay, this is um, this is not the Lincoln I left, but it's a Lincoln that you know just going to embrace with my family, and um, just try to get things going. The stadium has grown a little bit too, a Mickey. Lot, a lot. I'm still getting lost in the stadium. <laughs> you know, usually like find my way around, but you know, it's, but this is what you, it's what you got to do. You know, today in college football, you got to have facilities. This was they, they're impressed about. They're impressed about the the locker room. You know the the game room, they like you know just everything, the meeting room. So they got it. They they're very impressed with old kids that they want to be impressed with something. So facilities is one of them. I I was told, and I want you to 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 fill me in on this, that when you were in high school, that Nebraska maybe wasn't your first choice, but you ended up here, right? How did that how did that come down? Well, I think it, it came between um, Oklahoma <laughs> and Nebraska. You know, I had a really good time in Oklahoma. I had a really good time here in in Lincoln, and you know, I was leaning more toward Oklahoma. You know, because it was the personality of the head coaches. You know, Coach Osborne was really laid back. Switzer was really, you know, born outgoing. You know, that's how my personality was. But my mom stepped in, you know, and she made it, she made it clear where I was going. You know, she said, you're going with Coach Osborne. You're not going to Oklahoma. You know, she never said the coach's name, but she said Coach Osborne's name. So she, she kind of made me see the light of it. And, um, and it's something that you wouldn't trade. Something that was, you know, was very dear to me right now, and you know, was happy for the return that I can be able to come back and the return and contribute back to my my alma mater, my school, because you know, at the end of the day, if it wasn't for the University of Nebraska, we wouldn't be sitting here today. It was it's a great foundation that I would never trade. Great memories, but I'm glad my mom seen the big picture. You know, she didn't see the small, seen the big picture, and and Coach Osborne was a great man, and I think that's what she was looking for to continue to help me grow as a young man. And it worked, you know, I mean, we were successful and all my brothers and, you know, and part of the reason was because she helped me make a good decision. Have you spoken to Coach Osborne recently? I hadn't spoken to him yet. And I, you know, I better because my brother Van said this morning, hey, you better get in touch with T.O. <laughs> he said, you've been there for four days and you haven't spoke to him. So and he's getting ready for his Monday night game tonight. So I wish him good luck. Yeah, very good luck to him as well. Family excited about this move? Excited. You know, excited. I think everybody's ready to go and, you know, a new challenge in life, you know, a new, um, a new time zone, not a time zone, but a new, a new, you know, different weather, di different weather. Yeah. You know, and, but it's something that I think my kids will embrace. You know, my kids will embrace my oldest son's here in Omaha, Zachary. He's already here. My other son, um, Jacob, he's here. He's there. He's in Denver, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be a great feeling to be back. You, you had, had, had such a decorated career in the coaching industry, you probably could have gone a number of different places. Why Nebraska right now? Well, like I said before, I truly believe that Scott has this program going in the right directions. And I'm sure people are looking at wins and losses. And as a coach, you know, we, we look around that sometimes, see what's going on. So there's a few pieces he has to, you know, he has to, he has to put in place. And he's, he's, he's on the right track with it. I, I see a well-coached football team on Saturday. I see a team that's playing hard. Um, did they come up short? Yeah, they came up short a, a few times. So I think Scott's, you know, he's going to figure that out. We're going to figure that out on offense with Whip, you know, and, you know, we got new guys here on offense. So we're going to figure it out and see what we got to do to, to score more points, you know, because the person, the team that has the more points wins, and we got to figure that out. But I think right now Scott's going in the right directions. We're, we're here to help him. We're here to help get over the hump. And he's been, he's given us full reign, you know. He's been giving us full reign to, to do things the way, the way we see it. And I think um, that's, that's hard for some coaches sometimes, especially because Scott's a great offensive mind. He's a great offensive mind, but he knows right now he needs to be the CEO and run, and run, the, run the entire ship. And he's going to do it, you know, but we're still going to need him, you know, because he's such a great play caller and he's such a good offensive mind. We're still going to need him, you know, but he feels like he, I'm sure he feels like the kids need him more right now. And that's, that's what he's doing. Busy and with associate head coach, wide receivers coach, passing game coordinator, Mickey Joseph here on Sports Nightly. 
I want to ask you, you've been on the road recruiting for about a week now for the Huskers. I want to ask you about the brand, the end. Does it still carry weight? It's because the Huskers have had a tough decade off the field. When you played, it was one of the predominant programs in the country. What, what have you noticed talking to people now wearing the end again? Well, people down south, they're curious, you know, about, oh, you know, Nebraska. And then, you know, they understood, they understand that I went, I went here and it was my school. But I think the brand's still there. I think at the end of the day, you know, you, you flip to a winning season, you get on the plus side, it, it starts building back up, starts building back up. Nobody knows when Scott took this program over what type of shape it was in. The only person knows Scott, you, you know. So you look at it like, okay, I take this job and that's where we're at with it. But I, I'm telling you, if you look at a well-coached football team, an organized football team, a team that plays hard, so it's just a few pieces missing. We got to figure out what the pieces are, fix them, and get to the plus side and get to a winning record. And I, and I truly believe in my heart that we can. It's finals week, so I don't know if you've had a chance to even spend any time around the current players that you're going to be coaching. Has that happened yet? Yes, I, I met them. I met the, their whole receiver core um, the first day. I think the, later that day on the Monday I came in, and I, and I just sat down with Omar and, um, and Xavier. I just sat down with them, you know, just – just getting to know them, and you know, eventually I'll get to know them. I'll talk to all of them before they leave, eventually. You know, but right now, you know, you're just trying to finish up this recruiting, this uh, mid-semester recruiting, and, and get with Whip and get some of the offense things going and, and you know, get with those kids. But um, meeting them for the first time, they're really good kids. They're really good kids, and my big thing is we're going to do things the right way. And, and it's only one way to do things the right, right way. It's, not, it's how we do everything. You know, nothing's, nothing's a small problem. Everything's a big problem, and that's where we're going to treat it. And we, go, we want to be the engine that makes, makes it move, that makes the car move. We want to be the engine. We want to be the guys that, make, that makes plays out there. So we got to do everything. We got to do everything in our power to be that, to be that player on the field. We got to block. We got to block. We got to run routes. We got to catch. We also, we got to go to class. We got to go to study hall. We got to do all the little things. And, and like I just said, it's not little. It's big. It's little before, but now it's big. A lot of different faces in that offensive room. Does that excite you to, to kind of get some new thoughts and creativity? I, you mentioned Coach Whipple. I mean, he's going to be new to this thing as well. Yeah, well, but Coach Whipple, you know, man, you, you're talking about a resume and a guy that's well-respected on the NFL level and a college level. You know, everybody knows him. He's, he's a really – he's a bright guy. He's, he's bright. I mean, just being here for the last couple of days, you know, he sees things really fast. You know, I'm, I'm like, hey, can you run that back? You know, but he sees it really fast, and and and, um, and, he, and like I said, he he has a foundation in this in this profession. His brother, now his son, works with my brother at the at the Cardinals, so the, you're, he's in it. You know, he's in. It. He's been in it for forty, you know, maybe forty plus years. So it's nothing that he hadn't seen. You know, that's going to pa- make him panic. You know, he he was showing me a clip yesterday against Virginia. I think it was fourth and one. You know, as a receiver coach, I'm saying run it and get the get the first down. But no, he throws it over their head for a touchdown. And so now, to myself, I'm saying, okay, now I know what I'm dealing with. You know, so my guy's got to be ready because he's not going to panic as a play caller. He's going to be confident as a play caller. And it's nothing he hadn't seen that he's going to say, okay, we can't do this. You know, so you're really happy to be around Coach Whip. You know, and, and you know, even Donovan coming in, you know, from the, from the Bears. You know, he's, he, he's, that's a good plug, you know. And sometimes, you know, new faces and new coaches – I mean, new life for some kids. You know, a breath of fresh air. Everybody's on a clean slate. You know, so you probably see some kids step up that hadn't been stepping up because they feel like, okay, it's new life. You know, the the the, the depth chart is, is is written in sand that we can erase it. And um, the receiver's going to know that. I'm sure everybody on offense is going to know that. But I think they got some competitive kids on that side of the ball. I think they were second in the Big Ten in scoring on off total offense. Total so offense. They they you know so they make plays. It just hadn't made enough. So we got, we got to get to the point where how many plays we make and how many points we're putting on the board. So at the end of the game, we have one more point than our opponent. You know, but it's going to be a, 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 a team thing, you know, with defense, special teams, and offense. And, and Scott, Scott's going to have us ready to do it. Well, people are just thrilled over the moon that you're back. They might be more excited about your wife because she's really become an Internet star here the last couple of weeks. Yes, she has. <laughs> she has. And you know, like I said, she's she's really she's been the um, you know just the you know the platform and the and the foundation you know for our family. 
God bless you know, coaches' wives. He, yes. <laughs> and, you know, she does a really good job with, with our family, getting our family together, making sure everything's in, in place, things I know nothing about, you know, that she takes care of. And, you know, to have her, you know, that's a that's a blessing to have her a part, the, you know, part of this. And, she's, and like I said, she was here when it's – she was here when it was – all coin state. She was here when it was Grandma State. She was here when it was Langston. You know, so and she's still here now. You know, and, she, and she's the same person. You know, and you just gotta love her for it. You know that she, that she reaches out like that. She with her being an ex, you know, softball coach and playing on a, a Mexico national team for softball. You know, she understands the pressure of coaching and the pressure of playing. So it's a blessing to have her. Well, I had not met you, so I reached out to Steve Tedder, good friend of mine, good friend. He's been a big part of the network for years. He's a big fan of yours. He's excited about it. Have you heard from any of your former Husker teammates? A lot. Have you? You know, a lot. And they're yeah. excited. They're excited because at the end of the day, you know, we all still talk, you know. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to win, and everybody's pulling. Nobody's pulling out. You know, everybody's like, hey, they, these boys are going to get better. And, I mean, I was, I was just telling Omar, you know, just I just watched the Nebraska game at, at noon, and we played at 6. Well, I'd be exhausted by 4 o'clock, you know, because, you know, just the energy that you put in. But, like, at the end of the day, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's our school. You know, it's our school. We, we played here. We, we, believe, we believe red. We believe in Nebraska. You know, we, I truly believe that we're going to get this thing on the right track. And we're going to get back to the days that, that we deserve to have, especially the fans. You know, we have some of the greatest fans in the world. I'm, I mean, I just looked at the Iowa game. You're looking at a 3-8 and eight football team that had lost so many close games. But you got over 90-plus in there cheering, cheering, boy, just cheering and, and giving everything they have. And, and that's what we're coming here to do. We're coming here to give them everything we have when we come in this building and to get this thing turned around because at the end of the day, they hadn't given up. They're still fighting. So that means we're going to fight. You know, and that and that's what you got to be appreciative of, and that's what I talked to, you know, Omar and, and, and Xavier about. You know that, hey, th these people have your back. You know, they riding with you. You know, we're gonna ride together, but we're gonna we're gonna get this thing flipped. You know, we're gonna get it flipped, and I truly believe that we can do it. Well, again, congratulations. It's great to have you. Thank and great you. to have you back in the Husker fold. Thank you. Mickey Joseph with us here on Sports Sunday. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More Sports Sunday like coming up. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up and back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. The holidays come but once every year, and there's one promotion that you'll want to hear. Nebraska Lottery Slay Full of Joy. To the nearest lottery retailer you want to deploy. Enter non-winning holiday scratch tickets, they say. Win thousands of dollars enough to fill a large sleigh. One thousand, three thousand, five thousand bucks you could win. Enough to even make the Grinchiest Grinch grin. Promotion ends January 5th. Top prize odds vary by game. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Dato Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DatoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. This holiday season, give the gift of good taste with a gift card from Valentino's. During double discount days, double your discount from $5 to $10 free with a $50 gift card purchase. Valentino's handcrafted pizza has been a family favorite for generations, and our gift cards make the perfect holiday gift. And right now, during gift card double discount days, when you buy $50 in gift cards, get a $10 gift card free. Happy holidays from Valentino's. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. 
Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Looking for a great Christmas gift idea? Look no further than expanding your loved one's Husker closet with an item from the new 255 collection, inspired by legendary coach Tom Osborne. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Find your new truck at Woodhouse Chevy. Lease a 2022 Chevy Silverado K1500 LTD Custom for $469 a month for 39 months, 10,000 miles a year. The strongest, most advanced Silverado ever comes equipped with a legendary engine for epic journeys. Buy new roads and explore all of our inventory arriving daily at WoodhouseGM.com. WAC TTLX for first payment of dock fee to its own. You must have a current GM or competitive make lease to qualify. You must have current Costco membership as of 9-30-21. Offer expires 12-31-2021. See Peter for details. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple-stack corn hybrids and enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. This holiday season, give the gift of good taste with a gift card from Valentino's during double discount days. Double your discount from 5 to $10 free with a $50 gift card purchase. Valentino's handcrafted pizza has been a family favorite for generations. And now get a $10 gift card free with a $50 gift card purchase at Valentino's. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Monday night, 402-413-2400. The number to dial us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Carla on our text line said... Watching the volleyball teams in the Austin Regional both Thursday and Saturday, the Husker team just flowed in their play as opposed to the other teams that didn't seem to play as smoothly. As they, and they appear to be having a lot of fun and taking care of business. Very poised and really proud of this team. It's crazy how you've been hearing Coach Cook, and again, since I've been here, you know, the things that he's talking about are, you know, the passing, the serving, the defense. That's what wins championships. I, I mean, obviously, he kind of knows what he's talking about, right? And, and I think that's what separated them especially you know against texas the serving the you know they're just so tough and the body the buy-in to defense everybody that covers this team you know from a national perspective the the announcers that talk about how bad they're not quote unquote bad how 
low, I guess, compared to other teams in the in, that have been advancing the hitting percentages, hitting percentage, right? Yep. But low. but the fact that their defense is so stellar and so stout, that's you know, again, that's what defense wins championships, right? Did we feel sorry for the libero for Texas because we were hitting it right at her the whole time? Uh, no, we did not. Nobody felt sorry for that. I, mean, I don't think anybody nobody? feels sorry for any Longhorn ever. <laughs> Boy, did they they attacked her. <laughs> and Texas was serving at Maddie Kubik a lot. They were that's mm -hmm. who they are identified as a weak passer from that. Uh, so that's how it works. But I and you went, you and I were talking. I, the, the team that looked like the better coach team won. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it was very very obvious to me. I'm like, this team looks like a well coached team. You can just see the again the things that the game plan, the executing the game plan, as you mentioned, you know, figuring out where they want to, uh, you know, uh, locate their serves and, and just the things that the blocks, just all the different matchups and the, you know, the X's and O's, the chess match. There was a clear winner of the coaching who won that chess match. I, I agree. Yeah, Oscars totally, totally deserve to make their way to the final four. And that's where they're headed Thursday night against Pitt. They're the second semifinal. The first one's at six. That'll be a dandy as Danny Busboom's uh, Louisville Cardinals will take on the Wisconsin Badgers. That will be one you'll want to watch as well. Husker women's basketball continues perfect on the year. 10-0, they 10 take care of Indiana State 0. on Saturday. Alexis Murkowski with a big game. Good for, good for her, that freshman from right here in Lincoln. You know, in listening to Amy Williams' post game, it's like you win by 30, you're 10-0, and, and you could have played much better. You know, that's this team knows that they took away some things from that game that – and we're happy with, and I think that's that's good for this team to be able to watch it on film, and they and you still win by 30, and you didn't play your best. And there's things that you can learn and take away from the, you know, falling on the loose balls, the some of the things that they just did not do as well as they've been doing um, in some of those other games. So uh, hopefully, I think this team is again they really like playing together, and it's. Um, they enjoy every time they get out on the court. So I think they will absolutely uh, take a lot away from some of the things they could have done differently and still win by almost 30 points. I mean, that's a, that's a good win. And 10-0, and what a start. They're off, as, as all sports on campus are this week, because it is finals week. Now volleyball gets the exemption because they're in the NCAA tournament. But no men's or women's basketball all week. It's, a, it's academics time this week. Both teams will play on Sunday. The, it's a doubleheader at PBA. The women will play at noon against a pretty decent Drake team, and the men will play K-State at 5 o'clock at PBA, reviving one of their old Big 8 rivals with the Wildcats. The men got some bad, well, one, the game was not good at all on Saturday against Auburn, and then they got bad news on Sunday when it was announced that Wilhelm Breidenbach is done for the year. Knee injury for him. I feel terrible for him. He was... He showed flashes of really being a nice player. I think he's going to be a good player for this program. He absolutely is going to be. And I just, I think you heard Kutoyberg, this coaching staff, every time, you know, they talked about him. He's never a guy you have to question the effort. And he might not, you know, be a stat, stat sheet stuffer, but he's so, he works so hard on the defensive end. And, you know, he can knock down some big shots. He can be a bit of a ma matchup nightmare. But, again, just the, the effort and the energy that he brings and he plays with off the bench, that's, that's a big piece. And so they're going to have to figure out who can be that guy coming off the bench now. That team, and you're going to talk more with Armand in next hour, needs a break. They need a break probably from each other for a few days. They need to clear their head, maybe kind of a fresh start, a reset button to hit to go because it's, it's heading in the wrong direction right now. Yeah, and it can be frustrating. You know, I mean, you – the, the losing those close games, you never know how, you know, it can affect a team. And, and they just fought so hard in that, that, you know, quadruple overtime loss to NC State. And, you know, you, you can, um, can be a fine line in, in treading that, you know, that confidence. And so they've got to, you know, figure out a way to kind of get pick themselves back up and, and start playing with that confidence again because, you know, I, I think they just – yeah, it's probably all kind of catching up to them, and it can snowball in a hurry if you don't figure that out. And that's why I think this this eight-day break comes at a really good time. They can reset. They have two games before. They'll break for a little bit for a few days for the Christmas holidays. They play Kansas State Sunday. They play Kennesaw State next Wednesday, and then they're off until the new year. They won't play again until January the second on our text line, the ESPNU announcer sure seemed to like Texas. I told you, especially those throw passes from Eggleston on the Longhorns. Coach Cook did not seem too happy with that. I I was watching the uh, the broadcast with my dad, and my dad was getting mad. That he said, <laughs> "Is this guy working for the? Is he work for the Longhorn Network?" 
you know, I, I thought there were a couple times absolutely maybe you went a little overboard, but, um, you know, I I don't know. I It's hard to say, I mean, but I kind of tend to agree. You do not, but I, I, think, I think he sometimes maybe tend to lean a little bit more on, especially some of the calls. I thought he kind of, I don't know, it seemed a little bit favoring Texas, but, you know, maybe that's because I'm a Go Big Grand fan now. Paul Sunderland, does a, he loves volleyball. He does a great job. He does a lot of Olympic volleyball. Salima Rockwell, who I think does a good job. Yeah, she's great. She was an assistant coach at Texas. So there is a, back, there is a tie to Texas with her. But I didn't think she seemed, no. I think she seemed very pro because she calls so many Big Ten matches that yep. she was very, very well versed yep. in the Huskers and kind of following this team all year long. She knew all the backstory and, and was able to talk about the freshmen and how much they've come along. And, and so she, she knew the yep. Nebraska team very well. You could, you could absolutely tell that. That came across on the broadcast for sure. I haven't seen it yet. My guess is Paul probably is calling the Final Four. So... <laughs> and usually they team him up with Karch Karai. Karch was with the Wisconsin Regional. He did the Wisconsin matches with uh, Minnesota. Uh, not surprised that, that the Badgers prevailed at home. The only upset to keep it from total chalk was Nebraska. It was going to be a one, two, three, four, but Nebraska is the spoiled the party. Thank you. Two ACC, two Big Ten. Love it. It's going to be fun to to jump into that. Hey, our Sports Alley Hotline is open 402-413-2400. It's brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Back to wrap up hour one next. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. The holidays come but once every year, and there's one promotion that you'll want to hear. Nebraska Lottery Slay Full of Joy. To the nearest lottery retailer you want to deploy. Enter non-winning holiday scratch tickets, they say. Win thousands of dollars enough to fill a large sleigh. One thousand, three thousand, five thousand bucks you could win. Enough to even make the Grinchiest Grinch grin. Promotion ends January 5th. Top prize odds vary by game. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Nebraska fans. Jimmy Johns in Omaha is currently looking for people to join their team with sandwich maker positions starting at $12 to $15 an hour, management positions with competitive pay and benefits, and delivery drivers earning up to $30 an hour with mileage and tips. Visit DKPMCorp.com and apply now. That's DKPMCorp.com. Dot com. Come join the Jimmy John's team today. You can also visit any of the local independently owned and operated Jimmy John's franchises to learn more. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at at Sid Dillon, Buick, GMC.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. We are professional grade. Back inside of our Acres Broadcast Center, 
Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas, Acres Solutions for every field. Just a couple minutes left for us, and then it's our men's basketball show for the week. Jessica will be chatting with Armand Gates in hour number two. So get your comments, questions ready for that. Amy Williams will have her show tomorrow night for her weekly radio show. Again, this is finals week here on campus, so everybody's busy taking tests, turning in projects, and doing all of that. Time to give you our What's on Tap presented by Bud Light. Husker Volleyball in action on Thursday night. 8 o'clock pregame coverage from Columbus, Ohio. They'll take on the Pittsburgh Panthers out of the ACC Conference. They were the number three national seed going into this tournament. Husker basketball mentioned it last segment. Doubleheader day on Sunday. The women will play at noon at PBA against Drake. We're on the air on the network at 11.45. And the men will play K-State at 5 with pregame coverage beginning at 4 o'clock. And that's what's on tap presented by Bud Light. Fun little NFL matchup tonight. Cardinals. Yeah, I like watching the Cardinals. They are fun to watch. And, you know, covered Kyler at Oklahoma. And he he is one of my favorite suitors that I got to work with. So, um, you know, it's just it's a fun. Cliff Kingsbury, you knew that it was going to translate. Oh, well, I thought it would translate. Didn't necessarily, um, you know, take off as much as people might have thought at Texas Tech. But, you know, in the NFL, his system works really well. And there's a reason why he was really sought after when he got out of co- coaching college and it's translated and that offense is fun to watch. They got a lot of, he's, Kyler's got a lot of weapons to throw to. That's a fun offense. And if you haven't watched them play, that's a team that might win the whole thing. They, they could be a Super Bowl champ here in a couple of months. So they're on the night with the Rams. It's a big matchup in the NFC West. Kick off in about 30 minutes. You, uh, I did winners and losers on Friday night and my loser was Chase Claypool of the Steelers. I don't know if you caught him the Thursday night game. Steelers are trying to drive late. They're down eight. They're out of timeouts. He makes a catch, gets a first down, gets on his knees and does the point like first down. One of his own linemen comes and shoves him over like, come on, we got to get the ball marked. We got to go. Clock is running. Oh. And then afterwards, he compounded it by not admitting that he made a mistake. He goes, no, no that's just my routine. My routine, make the catch first down and make my signal. Like, there's 28 seconds left in the game. We don't have any timeouts. What are you doing? Speaking of overreactions, did you see Houston and Alabama and Kelvin Sampson yes, and the uh, – Chasing off the court, that was wild as well. Somebody stopped and picked up the trash, though. That was nice. Yeah. One of the players did. The, trash the Alabama coach just work. stood at the half court with his hand outreach to shake. Yeah. Good there stuff. was some, uh, definitely some um, not acting right over the weekend. Right. And uh, Jeremiah wants us to, to, to remind everybody that he did pick Navy to win the Army-Navy. Oh, he, he called was- me. To brag he about called it. Called you, really? Yes. As soon as the game was over, he had to call me and rub it in my face. I was like, I don't even know if this, if it actually counts or not. It was I an did... extra credit week, but so he gets extra credit, I guess. I figured since I mean, you're the boss, you lost, you might say you might help us out here and say, Hey, yeah, no, I was just kidding, it doesn't uh, really count. I threw it out there. I can't take that away from him. <laughs> he he earned it. He called the Navy upset in, in that game with Army. I loved uh, Army's uniforms in that game. That was a really I did cool too, like, yeah. white top with those little stripes. I thought that was really slick. Yeah, I, I like their unis as well. Uh, Jeremiah's going to be in this week We're for all the Jeremiah on, Searles fans. Busy on Wednesday for signing day. Look, it's going to be fun to see that. Uh, Huskers, I think, are looking at a class of about 12 that they may sign. Um, and, of course, the transfer portal's pretty active out there. We're, uh, we'll recap that when we're allowed to recap the, the whole transfer portal. But it's going to be busy. Uh, for that for the Huskers. All right, that puts a wrap on our one-hour sports on our men's basketball show coming up next hour. Armand Gates will be in studio to talk about the Huskers. And again, I think it's good for this team to take a week off, maybe push back a little bit, hit a reset button, maybe tweak a few things uh, to try to get this season turned around. Long, long way to go in this basketball season. It hasn't been good the last couple of weeks, but I think there's still some talented young men on that team. So looking forward to hearing from Armand coming up next hour. Tomorrow night, we're back with more. Hopefully, get another one of those new assistant football coaches to come in and chat with us. Looking forward to that. Enjoy next hour. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Shop the season of inspiration sales event at Woodhouse Mazda today where you can get 0.9% APR for 36 months on remaining 2021 Mazdas. From the Mazda CX-5 to the Mazda CX-30, the Mazda family of crossovers is designed for the road ahead. Test drive one today at one of our two convenient Woodhouse Mazda locations in Bellevue or Omaha, or shop online. This is Woodhouse. WC, TTLR, Trail Force, 1231, 2021, see the for details. 
The holidays come but once every year, and there's one promotion that you'll want to hear. Nebraska Lottery Slay Full of Joy. To the nearest lottery retailer you want to deploy. Enter non-winning holiday scratch tickets, they say. Win thousands of dollars enough to fill a large sleigh. One thousand, three thousand, five thousand bucks you could win. Enough to even make the Grinchiest Grinch grin. Promotion ends January 5th. Top prize odds vary by game. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Business technology one, network downtime zero. Being a game-winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com.
This is the Nebraska Men's Basketball Show with assistant coach Armand Gates. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Step back three on the way. Got it! Holy cow! Tomanaga with another three. So back out the verge, the pump fake. He drives the ball to the foul line, down the lane, puts it up. Left-handed scoop shot up. Four to nothing run by Nebraska. Nebraska on the block. Pace's got it. Quick pass Walker. Now to McGowan's. Drives baseline. Floater. Got it. And Nebraska comes from behind to take the lead for the first time. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie. And we welcome you into our Nebraska Men's Basketball Hour inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres, solutions for every field. Joined by assistant coach Armand Gates as uh, the Huskers fall uh, Tough opponent, uh, the Auburn Tigers, 99-68. Uh, well, I guess, first of all, how's this team doing? I know probably not uh, the most exciting trip back to Nebraska, but, uh, you know, how are they responding after a couple t tough ones last week? You know what? Uh, the, this, the team, our, our guys are basically, they've been, they've been knocked back a little bit, you know, and, and been humbled and, um, you know, fortunately, it's been it's been early in the season. You know we have we have a long way to go, and right now this is the time for us to really get better. This is our first time we really had a, a stretch where we get to really work on us. You know, uh, in terms of finals week, we're able to have a couple practices in a row without a game. So things that we really need to work on and fix, those are things that we're work, focused on. And our guys, we we challenged them. We challenged them big time after the game. We said, hey, if you don't want to get better, don't show up. Don't show up because we only want the guys, we only want the soldiers that really want want to be here and, and care about, you know, Husker Husker basketball. So with the with the Michigan game, kind of didn't come out with energy from the start, but it was not the case against Auburn. A pretty good start, but got away pretty quickly. What after the the 16 under 16 timeout, what kind of changed where Auburn got really hot and Nebraska couldn't get a field goal to go down. No question. No question. You know what? We, uh, we saw on film that they really pressured the ball, and uh, they knocked our guys back pretty early. You know, we, uh, we were operating our offense from close to half court, and that's what they want you to do. They, they, they wanted you, and, and guess what? They dictated the pace, and that's pretty much what we're, what we're telling our guys. They really have to lock in to the scouting report. They really have to lock in to wanting to play with one another. And they, and they really have to believe in that. Um, so right now, again, when when times get rough, you really get the true, the true person. You get the true player, you know. And and that's where we are. We are at right now. And we have to get these guys back on the right page. How how do you do that? I mean, it's it's got to be easier said than done when you're dealing with some some young guys that um, got to be confidence maybe hit a little bit, a little oh, yeah. bit frustrated, you know, maybe frustrated with each other and. You know, games that, you know, you don't expect to lose like you do. I mean, how do you balance that and, and kind of get things right, but also not hurt the confidence, you know? You, you, you know what it is? Um, we, we have the perfect, the perfect head coach for the situation we're in right now. Uh, coach, all of you guys that know Coach Hoiberg, he's so even keel. He's never too high, never too low. So, you know, when we had a big win against Colorado early and, and we ran off three in a row during the early in the season, you know, our guys, they were feeling themselves a little bit. And Coach Hoiberg's message was, hey, fellas, there's going to be a time where we do. We do hit a wall, you know, and right now we hit that wall. And I'm not the type of guy, and, and, and our staff, we're not the type of guys to uh, lean on excuses, you know. Um, but our guys, they've been knocked back with a couple, you know, a couple illnesses, you know, non-COVID related. But still, you still got to get out there and produce. And at the end of the day, we have the perfect guy to make sure our guys respond the right way. Well, tough news, another tough break for this team as Wilhelm Breidenbach announced that he's probably going to miss the remainder of the season with a leg injury. How tough is that one? I mean, he's a guy that we, we've talked so much about uh, with different coaches on the show that he doesn't necessarily always fill up the stat sheet, but he, he comes out and he plays so hard and he does things well in the defensive end. And, and so what kind of blow is that for this team? You know, it's, it's huge. It's huge because he was our first big off the bench. Uh, he played the four and the five fours, and and I think I stated this before. He he's by far my favorite player, you know, because he will do every little thing, 
possible to help your team win. He will run through a brick wall for you, you know, and he doesn't care about scoring. He gets frustrated when he, you know, when he, like there's an instance, he, he again, he knocked a kid down in a game and, and he ran back to the bench and just said, hey, man, that kid needs to get in the weight room because the referee called a foul. But listen, Wilhelm is, is, is he's, he's, his spirits are very high right now and that makes us as a staff and, and, and his teammates, uh, it makes us a little, a little, it puts it a little bit at ease, you know, knowing that he's handling it better than most of us will. So who do you look to now to kind of fill that role that off the bench, the, the big off the bench to kind of help that fill that void? Yeah, and, and we have to do it a little bit by committee a little bit, but Eduardo is the next man up. And, and Big Ed, he's shown, he's shown spurts that he can do it. He's shown spurts that he can be a tough guy, and, and we may have to play a little big, big basketball with him and Derek Walker in there. We may have to go small ball with CJ at the four. Um, you know, and, and, and Keon Edwards. So we, got, we have to do it by committee, and, and our team's built, built that way. And again, it's, it's about the chemistry. Now we have, to, we have to redo everything in terms of, hey, this is where my shot's going to come from now and, 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 the, and that aspect. So we have, we have the guys, we have the, the players to get it done. Now it's about restructuring our team. You mentioned earlier about getting back, you know, to work and working on some of the things you got to fix and get better at. What are those things that this team needs to improve on? Absolutely. Uh, just offensively, uh, you know, we have, to, we have to get that ball popping a little bit. Fred Hoiberg's, uh, his style of play is .5 basketball, which means once you catch the ball, you have .5 seconds to either shoot the ball, pass the ball, or dribble and create a shot for another teammate. And right now, as a team, not just one guy, as a team, we're doing too much holding the ball. We're doing too much uh, pointing and, 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 and telling this guy to go there. Instead, that ball has to pop. And, and we also have to start running. Coach Hoyberg's deal is space and pace. You know, and that's the NBA term, space and pace. That means run that floor, run that floor, get guys to the corner, get guys to the wings, get guys to the slot, and get our big to the rim. Um, and, and again, that, those are things that we're focusing on, our pace and also our defensive uh, efficiency. So how do you, I mean, how do you fix, I mean, is it just you show them on film and then if they're not doing it, you, you call on someone else? I mean, how do you get that flow? Yeah, and, 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 and again, that's, that's what you have to do. You have to practice it. It's, it's all about habits. It's all about habits. And when, we, and when you go through that stretch that we went through, um, you lose habits. You really do. And that's why this practice time where we have a week straight to really get our, get our guys' habits back in order. 402-413-2400, the number to call or text in if you have any questions for Coach Armand Gates, the Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. believe we got our first caller for you, Tim in Minnesota. Oh, he's not on the air. Sorry about that. I thought... I misread that. I saw it just typed in. So we'll see what uh, Tim in Mo Minnesota is thinking. But if you have any calls, texts, uh, let us know, and we will get those over to Armand Gates. One of the bright spots uh, for you guys in that game was C.J. Wilcher, which he's a guy that was uh, shooting the ball well when the team wasn't, kind of initially the, the first few games of the season. Then he kind of went through a little bit of a slump. So for a guy like C.J. to kind of knock down some shots on Saturday, how big was that? You know, it's, it's huge just for, for him to see it go in and also our team. As a team, we, we need to see that ball go in a little bit. And instead of, uh, instead of taking uh, so many long range shots, we're, trying, we try, we're pressing a little bit. And, and now that's when you get the over dribbling and that's when you get the, uh, uh, a little bit of selfishness, you know, and that's, those are the things, again, we're trying to correct. But seeing him get, uh, let that ball fall, fall into that basket was huge. So when, when, again, when you're going through kind of a, a str tough stretch like this, you're, are you kind of seeing some leaders maybe emerge, some, some voices kind of speaking up a little bit? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's usually the guys that, that play, play well, you know. So after the game, after the game, you know who, who it was. It was CJ who, who tried to step up, you know. And the guys that sulked a little bit more than others were the guys that feel like they didn't play as well. So it's, all, it's always easier when you, when you win or when you, when you play well to step up and talk. And that's as a team, again, we need more. We don't need front runners. We need guys to, to be there when things aren't going well for themselves as well. You mentioned, uh, you know, finals week. It's kind of a, a tough time to be a student athlete, a lot of pressure in a lot of different areas. What's this week like? For these guys going through getting ready to go through finals or final exams, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're as, as a staff, we're very sensitive to that. Uh, so we make sure we get their final schedule. We make sure uh, that they're meeting with the tutors. We make sure they're getting the extra help, office hours, and 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 we really we really uh, 
try to tell those guys to take advantage of the, of the opportunities, you know, and of, of the resources that we have provided for them. So it's just about adjusting practice times and, and the practice schedule around those guys' schedules uh, for finals. Were you a good student? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it, it was it was nothing. Be, being raised in inner city Chicago, man, I had to get homework done before I was able to play basketball, and that carried over. You know, it's, it's just again those habits that I talk about. I built those at a young age from my parents, and it stayed with me to now. What was the hardest final you ever took in college? Oh my gosh, I, I want to say business. I'm gonna tell you right now, business finance, business oh, finance, because that was the only D I got in my college or period in life, the only D. And I told my mom I was excited for that D. I'm telling you. So <laughs> I, I would, hey, that was the only D that I got and I was excited for it. That's impressive though. No doubt. Uh, that's, you know, that's such a big kind of, um, you know, sense of pride here at Nebraska that there are so many academic All-Americans and, and, you know, there is such emphasis placed on the classroom. And, and how has that kind of how have you seen that with the men's basketball team specifically? How important is that to take care of business in the classroom? You know what? It, it's, it's always important because we, we try to preach to our young man uh, that the basketball is going to stop bouncing at, at a certain point. And um, in our job as coaches, not just to coach them on the court, but we have to coach those guys off the court, how to con continue to uh, be, a, be a great dad, be a great um, a husband, and, and just a great citizen. You know what I mean? And, and it, starts, it starts right now. You know, it starts now, the impact that we can have on our lives. So we, we really preach the academic side to those guys all the time. All right, let's uh, step aside for our first break here with Armand Gates. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the log in 402. 413-2400 if you have any questions or comments you'd uh, like for us to ask Coach Gates. Keep it here on the Nebraska Men's Basketball Show. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Osceola Implement in Osceola, Nebraska, your locally owned Massey Ferguson dealer. Proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. Art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com, that's H-I-B-I-D.com, and find what you're looking for today. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now, you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance. 
all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to Football Sports Fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. This year, don't just get ready, get holiday ready with Ford. And the best place to start is at your local Ford dealer. Whether you're getting out to the mall or getting off the grid, we've got a Ford SUV that's perfect for you. Or check out America's best-selling trucks, Ford F-Series. Inventory is arriving daily, so get the season started off right and get our best offers during the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your local Ford dealer. Best-selling claim based on 1977 to 2020 calendar year total sales. Hey Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of Famous Dave's. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and Famous Sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. Welcome back to our Nebraska men's basketball show, our weekly hour with Armand Gates tonight. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Well, uh, Coach Gates, we've seen, we've talked a lot about uh, Trey McGowan's and his kind of he's staying involved, staying locked in. What's his uh, process like? Where's he at? Kind of, or is he still on schedule to hopefully return maybe sometime in January? Yeah, it, it, it'll definitely be sometime in January. Can't pinpoint a date right now because we definitely want to make sure that he's completely ready. Don't want to rush, rush him back. Uh, but you know what? You know what's the good thing about him being out is now he can see the game from the coach's aspect, from the bench, and he can see exactly what we talk about when we're preaching sprint back on defense, box out. A, be at the nail so they can't penetrate the lane and, and, you know, and get to the basket. So he's been an unbelievable help to, to, the, to the coaching staff because at halftime when the coaches are meeting, he's giving the guys his aspect of things. You know what I mean? So he's able to tell them, hey, the coaches are right, man. You know, because as a player, and I've been there, I've been there. You always you think the coaches are, hey man, he owns some BS. Hey, he's doing this, <laughs> he's doing that. But but no, he's totally he's totally able to relay the same message that we're preaching to our guys. It's crazy how often you hear that from players whenever they have to sit out to an to an injury or maybe a, a red shirt year that how much they say that they learn about yeah. the game. Yeah. Um get a different perspective on things and uh learn 
more, I mean, you, you play it and, and you understand it as a player, but then your, your IQ kind of grows a lot more when you're kind of sitting out watching from a different perspective. Yeah, there, there's no question. And, and that's when you talk about players' IQs. The best, the best players that has the, be the best IQs are the guys that study the game. And when, you, when you're sitting out, unfortunately, with an injury, that's all you can do. So you kind of force yourself to get better. That injury forces guys to really learn the game in and, and a different aspect because you may pick up on something that can help you along the way um, for when you return back onto the court. Uh, his brother Bryce Gowans with uh, 14 points again, um, you know, one of the top freshmen in, in all of college basketball. I mean, is this kind of, again, you know, the start and, and what you kind of expected to see out of Bryce night in and night out? Well, well, Bryce, Bryce coming in as a, as a five-star recruit, again, um, he's, he's definitely produced the way we thought he would, and he's one of the guys that now has to make an adjustment to how teams are guarding him. Um, he's got the bullseye on his back, basically. So the team's best, best defender is defending him. So he's getting out-vetted because he's young. You know, he's still young, and that's where – uh, uh, you know, the fans and, and himself, he has to understand that, hey, I got to take this up to another level. I have to, I, if I want to achieve everything that I want to achieve. And that's what he's starting to understand a little bit. So he's one of the guys that's been knocked back, you know, along with our whole team. But he's one of the guys because he cares so much. Does he embrace that a little bit that, okay, uh, you know, it's a competitor. You'd think oh, people are going to try to take me out of it. They're going to try to challenge me, maybe game plan around me. Let me figure out a way to, to win this chess match a little bit. He definitely embraces it, you know, because, again, he, like me, he's got that little brother syndrome. <laughs> you know, he's he's got that older brother that probably roughed him up. And it's amazing how different their games are. Like, Trey's one of those rugged, tough, I'm going to go to the paint and just put my whole body, I don't care where I land type of kid. And Bryce is different. Bryce is more silky smooth. And, and uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure growing up, and we laugh at him a little bit, how different they are and that Trey probably used to beat them up a little bit and you know as they were growing up and again that's that's some, some things that we went through that I went through as a as a, as a child uh, but but Bryce is embracing embracing the uh, uh, what, what he's facing every every given night Bryce told us when we had him in the summer that uh, he was a really special football player he was a quarterback and had probably was gonna get offers to play college football as well I mean I guess you could kind of see a little bit just how smooth, you know, it probably would be a, a pretty solid quarterback as well. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And he, he's got that charisma about him where, you know, any, any sport that he tries to do, any, any sport that he plays, he'll probably be pretty good at it, you know, just because he's, he's fluent. You know, he's fluent. Um, and, and the thing is, he and Trey, they talk the same game. So... He had a football in his hand the other. He, man, I could have been all American quarterback, and you know, <laughs> and, and, and we know what buttons to push to make to make him upset. We, man, you man, you ain't tough enough, you know, type of deal. And and he'll reply like, I bet y'all don't want to see me on the field. I bet y'all call tell tell, tell Coach Frost to call me. Like, nah, we good. We need to keep you right on this hardwood, you know, type deal. So he's got a highlight reel of his quarterbacking days too. He showed me. So uh, oh, yeah. So, so he showed you. See, he didn't ever show me that. Yeah. He never, he never showed that to me. So. I, I won't believe it until I see it. All right. Uh, there is a caller for you. Jason from Lincoln uh, is calling in. Jason, be nice. <laughs> Jason, uh, thanks for calling in. Hey, Coach. I was in Atlanta. It was a pretty frustrating game. Last couple games have been frustrating. I was disappointed in you and Coach uh, Hoiberg and the staff for not trying something like, uh, I don't know, a full-court press or a mixing it up with a zone. I mean, as you know, Coach, Auburn was up by 30 in the second half, and they had a guy full court pressing at times. Uh, the energy level, I loved it. McPherson, <laughs> he could have been coach for the rest of the game, I thought. His excitement, his passion. He was coaching as hard as anybody on that bench, uh, the freshman. Uh, very, very disappointed. I would love to see a little more, uh, you know, thinking outside the box. You know, when things aren't working, uh, you know, it, you got to try something. Why couldn't we have come out in the second half, Coach, in full court press, get them on their heels? You know, why can't we start the game doing that? And I know you'll have a coach's answer, and that's fine. You probably know about, more about this team than I do. But what's going on right now isn't working, and the frustration level is really high. we got to play better basketball than that. And Nebraska, this is Hoiberg's third year. 
most of us believe in you guys and Coach Hoiberg. But right now you're testing us pretty bad, Coach. I mean, it's it's been brutal. You know, I did not see the energy level from the coaches or, frankly, this team, you know, that we expect and that we need. So I sound frustrated. I am frustrated. Uh, I wish the team the best uh, they can the rest of the season. I know the players, you know, are trying hard. But we got to set picks with some meaning. We got to get after rebounds. Like I can remember plays against Michigan and against Auburn where we kind of lackadaisically went after rebounds without like boxing out like you're supposed to. And I get you can't play every play perfectly, but the effort has got to get better. This is not good enough. All this and off the air. Thanks, Coach. All right, appreciate the call, Jason. Hey, Jason, I definitely appreciate that call, man, and. and um, man, we got to get you into the in, into our locker room and give a pregame speech because you just got me fired up. I tell you that right now. But uh, you're 100 percent correct. I can't argue with that. Um, we all have to do better. And I'm one. I'm the type of guy that I don't point fingers. I try to look in the mirror. Um, and I got to be better. Um, and I'm, I'm sure Coach Hoiberg looks in the mirror and say he has to do better. And that's what we have to get our guys to do. And our guys, they some of our guys, they they want to point fingers. And that's part of the part of the uh, the team aspect that I'm that I that I preached earlier was we got to get our guys back on track. When you get knocked back a little bit, some guys just kind of it seems like they, you know, when you get knocked back, some guys respond, some guys quit. And unfortunately, uh, the guys that we believe in, um, they're they're gonna fight their butts off. And at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we, we put the product out there and we put the five guys on the court at that moment that we think could help us. Uh, so trust me, we're not trying to sabotage ourselves at all. Uh, we just trying to, we got to find that right formula. But that's what I love about Nebraska is the passionate fans, man. And uh, I'm not offended at all. Um, and I'm glad that you called in because I'm sure you're speaking for the entire Husker Nation, you know, when you say that. Because um, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with, with you. We have our effort must get better. It has to get better because the schedule the schedule doesn't change, man. We we have a tough Big, big Ten schedule, uh, and we have to face it. We have to face it. So again, I'm a no excuse guy. So we got to move on and 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 be much better. So I appreciate you, Jason. How do you avoid uh, you know because when you lose the four overtime game, then you turn right around. You have a, a hard fought game at Indiana, and then the. You know, I know everyone admitted an embarrassing loss against uh, Michigan. How do you avoid uh, the snowball continuing? Hey, to be honest with you, it's all about playing hard. Mm -hmm. It's all about effort. And, and like I said before, Jason's 100% correct. Uh, if you do the little things, boxing out at, in every possession, if you sprint back in transition, <laughs> that solves a lot. You know, so again, as a staff, we're evaluating every day now. Like, it's, it's to that point. We're evaluating every little thing that we're doing. So as a staff, we're getting back to the drum boards. When we think we had things figured out, guess what? It backfired on us. And again, our adjustments could be much better, but when we, when we review film and things of that sort, that's, that's, that's pretty much being a Monday quarterback. You know, at, the mo at that moment, we thought we were doing the right things uh, to keep our, our, our most important guys on the court. But at the end of the day, maybe fatigue set in and Man, we again, we have to reevaluate our what we're doing. You heard him asking about the full court press. Is that something that this team could potentially add? Uh, the picking up full court. So, so in 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 the three years that I've been here uh, with Coach Hoyberg, we have never full court pressed. You know what I mean? So uh, maybe that's something that we we will look into uh, when when we get down. Uh, but at the moment, we didn't we we didn't want to do that. You know, we didn't want to press. Uh, Maybe we can pick up full court a little bit more. Again, those are things that we talk about in, the, in those huddles. And at that moment, we, we felt like that would fatigue our guys much more than what we needed. Like, we, cut, we did cut that lead down. And again, we can't build that big of a deficit and expect to just hit a one, a, a one shot to take that lead away. And that's how some of our guys re respond. They think about one shot. And when the ball, and this is an important thing, when the ball's not going in, it's, it's tough to really lock in defensively, you know, and, and, and that's coming from a former player and now a, a, a coach. It's tough. So as a coach, we have to get our guys locked in to that defensive end. And right now, we're not locked in 
only unless, again, those are front runners. Only when the ball's going in is when we want to rah-rah and, and do all that. So, again, we have to reevaluate some things. It seemed like a, at, the, at the beginning of the game, at least to start, um, weren't settling as much for the three. Was that kind of something that was emphasized of, um, you know, maybe trying to get to the rim a little bit more to get, get things going? Yeah, it, it, our, our game plan then, you know, after the Michigan game, we settled for a lot of threes and could have been fatigue again. Um, what, we, what we wanted to do was limit the ball handler from just dribbling, dribble, 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 and let the ball pop a little bit. And that created open opportunities. We're, we got guys shooting the ball that we really believe in can make some shots, but right now it's just not falling. The Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family Shop. Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com, 402-413-2400, the number to call there. And I believe we got one coming in, but we will uh, step aside for a quick break, and we will get to that on the other side of this break. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska Lincoln with game changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. When you choose Woodman Life, you choose a better life insurance company. Yes, Woodman Life is life insurance, but so much more. Woodman Life is here to protect your family's financial future and offer help when the going gets tough. And Woodman Life is honored to join you in the celebration of family, community, and country. Get to know Woodman Life at woodmanlife.org. Woodman of the World Life Insurance Society, Omaha, Nebraska. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us, Sid Dillon. Chevy, find new roads. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. 
They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. The holidays come but once every year, and there's one promotion that you'll want to hear. Nebraska Lottery Sleigh Full of Joy. To the nearest lottery retailer you want to deploy. Enter non-winning holiday scratch tickets, they say. Win thousands of dollars enough to fill a large sleigh. One thousand, three thousand, five thousand bucks you could win. Enough to even make the Grinchiest Grinch grin. Promotion ends January 5th. Top prize odds vary by game. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth. And right now, there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org. And thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Welcome back into our Nebraska men's basketball show. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with the Big Red Double Jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.99 each. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. A couple more segments here with Armand Gates, and we have Husker Dan in West Point. He's been uh, on hold through the break, so we will get to him right now. Thanks for the call, Dan. Hi, Coach and Jessica. How are you tonight? Good, good. I appreciate you calling. Hey, I got a question for you, Coach. You know, I played a little bit of junior. I played some junior high and a little bit of high school, and then I was. I figured I'm not cut out for basketball. But in those times I was playing, our coaches always emphasis on the glass. That little square on the glass. How much do you guys emphasize? to the players to, to use it. I see this, not only the men, but women. You get in there, and I, and I get it. You know, you, bunny shots, layups. I know the guys are, can, they get in there, they dunk it. But, you know, there's a lot of times I see where they just go, they shoot it for the rim and don't use the glass. How much, and my question is, how come we don't use that tool that's a I mean that's a lot of times when I was playing the coach always said you touch any part of that square it's going in and uh I mean I just it just drives me nuts watching games and then you know it's it's you know what I'm saying I I just and I and I'll let you uh uh answer my question and uh I just coach we're behind you guys I, I just love basketball and I just I just think, yeah, we're just hitting this a little speed bump, and and a lot of us, you know, fans are behind you guys, and we're not going away. We just, you know, I, I just think we're just, even it goes through baseball, you know, slumps, the whole team, and and it's every sport. So I, I think we're going to rebound and, and get back into this, and, and I wish you guys luck for the rest of the season and uh, go Big Red. And I'll listen from here on out. Thank you. Thanks for that call. Hey, hey Dan, thanks for the call for sure. Um, 
you know, watching, watching, I'm pretty sure our guys, they watch a lot of NBA basketball, and it's, it's become such a finesse game now. And, uh, you know, watch skill workouts and things of that sort. And as a coach, you have to adjust as well. And times have definitely changed uh, in terms of we're not just coaching uh, technique. We're, to we're coaching a little attitudes. Um, we got to coach effort, and, and that's it's pretty. It, it's from and from a coach's perspective, it's, it's pretty frustrating. So, you definitely got to pick and choose what you're going to emphasize. And um, again, in Fred Hoiberg's offense, it's that space and pace, shoot a lot of threes, um, you know that sort of thing, and, and spread the floor. Now, these guys definitely should at the at this level at the Big Ten. We've seen them make layups. We've seen them uh, make tough moves and, and finish at the basket. Again, sometimes when you get knocked back, when you get knocked back, uh, you have to take a look in the mirror and you have to challenge yourself and you have to get back to the, uh, to the basics. And again, that's what we're doing right now. And we're trying to change some things up. And I, I, know, I know we have the support for Husker Nation. Um, I know you guys know we have a tough schedule ahead and it, it's not gonna get any easier. Um, so again, we're on our guys. They're they're more frustrated than anyone at the coaching staff. We're more frustrated frustrated than anyone. Uh, but the passion here, again, that's that's part of the reason why I wanted to be a, be, be be a coach here in uh, in Husker Nation because you guys care and you guys show up uh, during the tough times. So again, I, I really appreciate the call and and, and uh, your thoughts and, and and continue to just you know be with us, man, because. It, Again, it's not going to get any easier, and we need our guys to get that confidence back. Um, and again, we got the right guy to do the job for us, and Coach Hoiberg. So, uh, my belief is still there, and my hope is there, and I believe in our guys. So, again, thanks for that call. How uh, much can that help when you do have a, a packed arena behind you, cheering for you, and you know pushing you along? Because again, I just came from Oklahoma. People know this, and they would have killed to have the crowds that that PBA has night in and night out that show up for you guys. I mean, how appreciative are you guys of that, and and how much can that help you maybe get out of this this tough time? There's no doubt. It is it's very. We're very appreciative uh, that that we have the fan base that we have and uh, the passion that they bring to the table, and that's something that every other assistant coach in the league or non-conference guy, uh, my buddies that that coach. And we played them in non-conference like Tennessee State. And what they did, they, they'll call me after the game. They'll text us and say, man, the crowd was unbelievable. Tournament-like atmosphere, those type of things, which that's, that's what Husker Nation is about. And again, the passion, um, the passion is there. And what everyone needs to know is I've, I, I haven't, and I'm speaking for myself, not anyone else, I haven't been more embarrassed the last two games in my entire life as a coach. You know what I mean? So it's not easy. Um, Again, we, we look in the mirror all the time, see what we could have done to help our players. Um, again, I, I've never met a coach to, to, to tr that tries to sabotage, sabotage their, uh, not only their team, their the game, but you can, I never met one that would sabotage their career, you know. So at the end of the day, Husker Nation is unbelievable, man, and, and we're going we're gonna to try to continue to put a product and, and uh, product out there that they can be proud of. Very well said. Dorothy Lynch Homestyle Light and Lean Dressing, Endless Flavorability. He's got to step aside for our final break, final segment with Armand Gates coming up after this. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. The holidays come but once every year, and there's one promotion that you'll want to hear. Nebraska Lottery Slay Full of Joy. To the nearest lottery retailer you want to deploy. Enter non-winning holiday scratch tickets, they say. Win thousands of dollars enough to fill a large sleigh. 1,000, 3,000, 5,000 bucks you could win. Enough to even make the Grinchiest Grinch grin. Promotion ends January 5th. Top prize odds vary by game. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, 
and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska. There really is no place like Nebraska Realty. Pivot control has never been easier. TNL Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full color, seven inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402 413 2400 with your Husker thoughts. This year, fire off your holiday catering wish list of Famous Dave's. For smaller gatherings, get their legendary pit barbecue and famous sides to go. Fixing for a larger group? There's delivery and setup. Or go all out with full service where Famous Dave's catering team handles all the details while you savor all the glory. While you're at it, get your mitts on a $10 reward card when you purchase a $50 gift card. Holiday catering and gifting by Famous Dave's. Because when there's smoke and fire, there's joyful and triumph. Located in Lincoln and Bellevue and Famous Dave's. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Welcome back to our final segment here with our Nebraska men's basketball show and Armand Gates. We got a big Monday night football game going on behind us. 3 nothing Arizona leading, and actually I think maybe L.A. just scored. Are you a big football guy, big uh, NFL guy? You know what, I'm more of a college football guy, but but I follow I follow the NFL a little bit. Who's your team? It got to be hometown Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears? Has to be. Has to be. Well, we also had a question in the chat from Crypto King. Please ask Coach who his favorite NBA player is. Ooh. That's a really... Maybe let's do current. Who's your favorite current player and then favorite player of all time? Are you going to go with MJ? You got to go with Michael Jordan? I'm definitely all time is MJ. There's no doubt about it. And, I, and I'm going to let you know this. I don't get involved with the debates, uh, LeBron, uh, you know, Kobe and all that. By far, I'm a Chicago guy. It's Mike Jordan. Not even close all time. But currently right now, to be honest with you, I want I want to say something like a silky smooth player like Kevin Durant. You know, I'm a huge fan. Um, I just think he can score the ball so easily. Um, that hurts my heart. I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't think of that. I would. I would. I would have changed that up if I thought about that. But I totally forgot that you are a uh, Oklahoma City girl. So. But so, but you're saying no doubt, hands down, the LeBron MJ is not even a debate. Well, the people out there that want to debate it, debate it, debate it. We're not making a final decisions at the end of the day. I'm just going to let everyone know that MJ is my favorite. Okay. You know, with no debates about it. All right. So there you have it, Crypto King. Uh, the answer for you. All right. Up next, Kansas State, Sunday, 5 o'clock, inside PBA, back home. Uh, it's going to be a fun one because it's a doubleheader with the women's team who's playing really well off to a hot start. So uh, how excited are you guys to get back inside PBA? You know, very excited. But first, I, I, I definitely want to take some time and, and, and give Coach Amy and her staff uh, big props because they're they're holding it down for us. They're doing an unbelievable job. I believe they're 10-0 and 0 right now, uh, doing an unbelievable job. Um, and, and, and seriously, I, I want our guys to really take a look at how hard they play and how together they are because we can learn some things from them. You know, to be honest with you, um, but we are we are very excited to be back in PBA, um, in front of our fans, and try to get this things fi things fixed after a, a long uh, week of practice. You know, the things that we really have to emphasize, and that's what we've been doing. So, uh, with the week of you know, we talked a little bit about it, um, but you know, again, is it 
a lot of prep for Kansas State? Is it where you're maybe looking ahead to some upcoming games with you got uh, Kennesaw State and then Ohio State? I mean, then you get right into Big Ten play. I mean, how do you manage kind of these this this week leading up to the tip off with Kansas State? There, there's no doubt about it. Uh, competing in the Big Ten, you have to take one game at a time. So mm -hmm. Kansas State is by far uh, what's on our radar right now because this is a very good ball club out of the Big 12. This is our first time playing them since uh, we've joined the Big Ten. Uh, this year is here, next year is in Manhattan, and then I believe the third year is somewhere like Kansas City or something. I can't remember exactly where uh, the third year is, but uh, first time playing these guys since we uh, exit the Big 12, and this is a really well coached ball club. Uh, beat Wichita State uh, by, I believe, one, lost to Marquette by one. Um, so this team is, is, is well coached. They run motion, and, and defensively, they pack the gap, so it's hard to get into the paint. Uh, and They're it kind of grinders. Like, yeah, grind that thing out. And, and they, <laughs> they make it tough. They make it tough for you. And, they, and they're very physical. They're very physical. And um, we got to come ready. We definitely have to come with it. So, again, with the, um, you know, getting the lid off the basket and the shooting, I mean, how do you continue to kind of, you know, get that worked out and, and to get some things going down? You know what? We, we probably got to pull out some of those Hoosier things, man. We might have to pull a ladder out and, and, and you know, measure that, measure that uh, goal, let the guys know it's still 10 feet, um, uh, take two basketballs up there, and, and like Coach Hoiberg actually did it, took two basketballs and showed the guys that two balls can fit in that thing at one time. So just shoot the ball, man. Do it, do it, do it. got you here, you know, and, and, and get the, let's get the monkey off our back a little bit. Did you know he was going to do that? Yeah, yeah, he, he kind of told us that he was, uh, was going to let the guys know, hey, man, this is a game. Let's have fun with it. You know, and unfortunately, the next game we went out, we just couldn't make shots. You know, so, look, we're trying to keep the mood light for the guys because we can harp on them, harp on them, harp on them, and, and, and preach to them. But they know they're not playing well right now, and they know, what they, they, they know what they need to fix after watching film. How did they receive that when he was putting the two balls in the basket? You know, kind of, kind of, it, it rejuvenized them a little bit. But, you know, when you do that, you, you hope that they'll come out and shoot it really well. Now, that practice, they did shoot it well, but got into the game and, and – you know, again, when you get that full court, that, that pressure on you and your legs are worn out, sometimes, sometimes you, you, got, you, you don't make those shots. You know, you need more legs. So, again, we're going to get those things corrected. By the way, uh, Tim, our producer, just reminded me, I forgot. KD was in the building for you guys' game when you were playing. Did you know that? KD was right He across, was on courtside eating he nachos. Was eating nachos, and he was a... He was a fan of that, of that game. The night before, they played, uh, they played the Atlanta Hawks. So uh -huh. it was surprising that he stayed behind. Uh, I know he was sitting courtside. Again, we played against an unbelievable Auburn, Auburn team. Number, I mean, top, what was they, top 15, top 18 in the country or something like that. And you know what? Um, we didn't play very well, but that was a really good team. A really good team with a with a probably number one pick on, in the NBA draft next year. And that's why KD was there with his agent to let him know, A, hey, you're, you're going to be the next KD. And that kid played well, and he showed, his, he showed his talents. I also really appreciate, and not just because he played at Oklahoma, but Trey Young. I mean, he's a guy that has been told his whole life he's too small, he can't do things, and look what he's doing night in and night out as well. Tremendous things. I mean, unbelievable things that he's, he's doing in, in the NBA. And, and that kid, shoot the ball. Shoot the leather off that ball. So hopefully our guys can look at some of his tape and, and you know, learn how to just bounce back from a missed shot. All right, Coach, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, I know it's uh, been a disappointing, but I, I feel like you guys are going to, like, like, like uh, the guy said earlier, rebound. You're going to be, hopefully rebound's coming. That's no doubt about it. Hey, and Jessica, I, 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 hope, I hope your mom enjoyed this show like, like she enjoyed the last <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, Sherry, my mom, uh, loved it when you were on last time. She said that's fun. She always enjoys listen to, listening to you. Sherry, so. I hope you're listening. <laughs> always. Hey, did your kids build some snowmen or, or no, something? You know what? We were out of town, so I don't, I'm not sure if they did, but I know they enjoyed the snow. All right. Well, again, we appreciate your time. And again, this has been uh, the Nebraska Men's Basketball Show inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere, John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres, solution for every field. For Armand Gates, I'm Jessica Cootie. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups. Firewall, tough defense. And network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. 
Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Lutz is an integrated business solutions firm born and raised in Nebraska with offices in Omaha, Lincoln, Hastings, and Grand Island. Lutz provides expert accounting, consulting, financial, technology, M&A, and talent solutions tailored to you. Lutz embraces your business as their own to discover the right solutions to help you thrive. They mind what matters for businesses or individuals seeking a partner to help energize and heighten financial and organizational success. Visit Lutz.us slash GBR. Much like the values of the people of Nebraska, Nebraska Realty was built on the principles of hard work, dedication, and doing things the right way. They believe strongly in the power of creating lasting relationships and the value those relationships hold. Their success is based on trust and the relationships created with the people and communities they serve across the state of Nebraska.